Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I'm working on the TiVo Stream 4K. If your TiVo Stream 4K is running real slow, I'm going to show you how to go ahead, factory set it, and set it up. Stay tuned, it's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So on the TiVo screen 4K, on the box itself that gets connected into your TV, on the side there's a new button. What you want to do is hold down that button for a couple of seconds, so that way it goes ahead and it gets set up into the factory reset mode. I'm pressing it now, and we'll give it a couple of minutes to go ahead and reset itself. So I held down the button for approximately 10 seconds. Once that happens, you get this screen here where it comes up and says factory reset. Now you got to remember, when you do a factory reset, it is going to erase everything on your TiVo. So before you do that, think about it. Go ahead and hit cancel now. If you don't want to go ahead and factory reset it, we'll go ahead and say OK, and we'll factory reset. I'm going to say OK, and we're going to do the factory reset. Now it's asking you, do you want to do it? Again, make sure that you want to do a factory reset. You're only doing a factory reset because your TiVo Stream 4K is running really slow. All right, let's go ahead now. Click down, erase everything. Go ahead and click on that. Now it's going to go ahead and start doing a factory data reset. Give it a couple of minutes, and we'll come right back. Once it's done doing the factory reset, it's going to go ahead and restart. You'll come up to the TiVo screen. Once you get to this part here where this says Android TV and the line keeps going back and forth, it takes a little while. Just relax, get yourself a drink, and it will restart itself, and you'll come to the next screen where you have to go ahead and pair your TiVo remote. Let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and press the TiVo and the back button at the same time until you get an active LED turns red. So that's what we're going to do now. Once the remote is paired, you get to the welcome sign and you go ahead and pick the language you want or the state that you're in. I'm going ahead and click on English, United States. Here you could go ahead and quickly set up your TV with your Android phone. I don't have an Android phone, so my thing is going to be skip. The next step you're going to do is go ahead and connect to your internet. Go ahead and find your Wi-Fi, put your password in, Go ahead and say connect, and then you'll get this message here where it says, please wait. Now the TiVo Stream 4K firmware version is 6068. Give it a no while, let it go ahead and download, then it will install. After the firmware version downloads, it's going to verify, then it's going to restart. Give it a second or so to go ahead and process the update package. Now the TiVo Stream 4K is going to restart. Once it restarts, it's updating. Please do not turn off your power. Install and system update. Give it a couple of minutes and we'll come right back. After you get the new TiVo guy, you come to the screen again where it says Android TV with the line underneath it flashing left and right. Everything is being prepared. After a couple of seconds, it goes ahead and it connects to your Wi-Fi. After it connects to your Wi-Fi, you have to go ahead and sign in. Go ahead and click on the OK button on your remote. Now you come to the page where it wants you to sign in. I'm going to sign in to the account, and then I'll go ahead and we'll come right back. After you log in with your account and your password, then it comes up and it's going to ask you to do a two-step verification. Go ahead and say OK. And after you do that, come here now and go ahead and accept the terms of service. Google services, use location. I always uncheck it. I turn it off. Help improve. No, I go ahead and turn it off. Then go back up and click on accept. Now you're at the part where it says get better voice control of your TV. Go ahead and click on continue. Search across all your TV apps. Say allow or no thanks. I like to say allow. Get personal results, no thanks. 
get the most out of your Google Assistant? I say no. Now here you have the option to go ahead and install some pre-installed apps, or you could go ahead and uncheck them and they won't be installed. Just for this reason right now that we're doing the video, I'm going to say continue and install all the apps. We can delete anything we want later on today. The TiVo Stream 4K is powered by Android TV. Just go ahead and click to the right, and you can see some of the items that it does. Casting to your TV is really great. You can go ahead and take your phone, put something on your phone, and then cast it onto the TiVo Stream 4K. Now I have to go ahead and I have to activate my TiVo. Once you have gone to the TiVo.com forward slash activate on your phone, tablet, or laptop, and you typed in all your information, it's going to ask you to go ahead to create account or just go ahead and sign in. In my case, I had to go ahead and create an account, which is perfectly fine. It's free. Once you have done that and you put in the code, come over here. You go ahead now and go ahead and click on continue. Here you could go ahead and personalize some recommendations for you. So if you want, you could say next pair. If you don't see anything that you like, I like Mandalorian. I'm going to say, okay. And next pair, you keep doing this and then go ahead and go to the next step. Once you have chosen the shows that you like, go ahead and say, finish personalizing. Go ahead and click on it. On this screen here, you could go ahead and add some streaming originals to my shows. Go ahead now and click on next. Add series to my shows. Go ahead, click next, and then click on finished with TV shows. Now go ahead and click on finished. Now go ahead on your remote, press the TiVo guy, and you will come to the home page of the TiVo. Here you go. Set up TV with your remote. Go ahead. You can say skip or next. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. Now you have to find the type of TV that you have, and then you want to go ahead and click on it. I have a Samsung. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. Press OK. Yes, it worked fine. Now go ahead and we just have to wait for the next step. Your TV is set up. Go ahead and say next. Set up remote with your auto receiver. I'm going to say skip. So here we are on the home screen of your TiVo Stream 4K. Please like and subscribe and ring that bell for when I do put up other videos. I really do appreciate it. Also remember, when you are streaming, always use a great VPN. I have two listed down below in my description. One is Surfshark and the other one is ExpressVPN. Both are, both are very highly rated. Please click on one of the links to choose the VPN that you like. I do get a small commission, no extra cost to you. And it does help out the channel. So the next step that you want to do is go up to the top, go over to the gear to settings. Once you're in settings, go to device preferences. Click on about. Then scroll down to where it says build. Click on build about several times. This will make you a developer, which you can do other options that I can show you later on in other videos. Once that's done. Go ahead and click on the back button and home. I hope you find this video very helpful. So now you know how to go ahead and factor and reset your TiVo if you're having issues and how to go ahead and set it back up. Please leave your comments down below. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.